Hi, Anissa. Okay, you've got some good work going on. I really like the color scheme. I think it works very much to your advantage selling what you're trying to sell. And I like the color or the the type combination too. I like the the bigger, wider font with this smaller font. So let me tell you a few things that you can do to really improve this. But the first thing is I'm not really clear what the name of your group is based off of this because on the letterhead we have geocaching enthusiasts, but on the flyer we don't have that anywhere. We say caching in, which sounds like that could be either the name of the group or the name of the event. Um, so if you could sort that out and let me know, it would be best if you could pick one or the other and use it consistently because part of this is to take a look, establish kind of a look with the way you put together your picture and your type and your color and use it the same across all of your different objects. So once we get this pinned down on this first one, it should be a cinch really for the other two things. Um, so I'm going to give you kind of feedback on both of these and you can pick which way you want to go. Your letterhead is looking really good. I like kind of the simplicity of it. Um, something you could do though is I think this feels like it's really, really big. If we printed this out on actual paper um, at 8.5 by 11, this would feel really huge. So I would suggest making geocaching enthusiasts both smaller and moving it down so that the space between this G here and the bottom of the G is about the same. Um, also, it might look a little better to move this logo down just a little bit so that one of these lines, um, I realize that this line is level with the green here, but it's just feeling a little offset. Try maybe moving that down and moving this down and see how that feels. Once you shrink this top bit down a little bit, it feels it will feel like the introduction to the letter because it's on the top left where right now it's really across the entire top. Um, you could also make this contact information part of the brown bar. I think that would help really streamline this letterhead. So you could make the bar a little bit taller and then move this contact information down in it and maybe turn the type to white. Definitely don't leave it black on top of that brown. Um, and check the size of this type. For contact information, about a 10 is really good. It does not need to be 12 or larger. Um, and if it's a 10 size, try, um, here I'm thinking, It's bothering me a little bit that there's two here, two here, and just one in the middle. So I would be interested in maybe seeing you take and put three lines of type. So make the bar tall enough to put three lines of type and put the name geocaching enthusiast, just like it was a letter on a, on a mailbox, the address, Logan, blah, 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 blah. See how that works or try putting them in just two straight lines of type or one long type line of type. This isn't quite working down here. So mess with that a little bit and show it to me um, when you get it adjusted. And mostly I'm, I'm really interested to see if you're sticking with geocaching enthusiasts or caching in. Now caching in is definitely more catchy. Um, but arranging the type might be a little tricky and I think you found that a little bit as you were working with this that it was hard to arrange things around this main thing because even though this is eye-catching and it's got some nice type arrangement it's rather awkward to fit somewhere. So I kind of was sketching to just see if I could come up with a solution and came up with a couple ideas. I'm going to throw them at you and you can take it or leave it but you do need to find something that works because you did succeed in making this the most obvious thing. That's good. But after that, I really don't know where to look because all of these things are just kind of floating in the air around it. Um, I think if you moved this as it is up to the right top hand corner and then maybe the list of the activities down this side and try playing with them center aligned 
left, right align, try some different alignment to see what works. Sometimes when we get too many things that are center lined, it looks really cluttery. Um, so once you've moved this up here, try putting the kind of adventures of the day here and then the day and time information much larger across the bottom and uh, maybe even tuck this in the square in here. I'm not quite sure how that'll look. A QR code also, by the way, can be really small. So it doesn't have to be, this looks like it's about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. It could actually be quite small. Once you've figured out what you're doing with this, um, because essentially it needs to be your, your logo, so it will look the same on each piece. So once you've established how the type is arranged with this, it becomes your logo and it should stay the same on each piece that you put on, put it on. Um, then I would update the little tab information to reflect whatever it was that you did. And I honestly would suggest putting this little uh, four square thing down here in the corner. Even though it might be really, really small, it's going to be just a visual reminder of what that information belongs to. Okay, I hope that wasn't too confusing. So I'm going to just kind of quickly sketch what I said and I'm going to apologize because at work I use this Wacom that has a really nice rubber surface on the pen and uh, here at home I don't have a really nice one like that so my pen slips a little bit but anyway um, so if you have cashing in up here and I'm only saying that because it shares a line here I honestly would just try rearranging how these go because it's going to be hard to butt things up against against it and have it flow in a logical order. And you probably should put the date a lot bigger because right now blacksmith fork is bigger. Now blah 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 blah. Um, cashing in, maybe explain what this is if you if this is a specific date. So I know I'm telling you pretty much to redo this, but you've got some really good elements. It just needs some rearranging. So go ahead and give it a shot and shoot me another JPEG. Let's work with this to get it nailed down because then it will really help you with those other two things you've got to do. So, okay, I hope that was helpful. Shoot me an email back um, if it wasn't helpful or if I just made things more confusing. Um, keep in touch. I hope your play rehearsals are going well. And uh, what play is it, by the way? I know you emailed me and I forgot to look. I did mark that, but I'll, I'll take a look at that information. I hope things are going well. All right. Bye-bye.